Well, we didn't have to wait too long into Friday morning stages. Stage three, the short geothermal stage, it was a great start from Thierry Neuville. But as you can see, rear right, he's picked up, well, it's more than a puncture. Take a look, this is what's come off. It came off a couple of minutes ago. That is the rear right wheel. Let's have a look, there'll be damage there somewhere. We'll keep out their way. Working hard, a little bit of time. It's a decent road section to the next stage. But as you can tell, certainly nothing frantic, but it's absolutely efficient in terms of the work rate from both, both Neuville and Vidigi. And we'll find out what happened. I understand that the puncture will happen quite early into the stage. It's a short one, this one, just 13 kilometres long, but you ran round about 10 k's. The tyre completely exploded right at the end of the stage. The big issue, the big, big issue, potentially has damaged that strut. That doesn't really look great, does it? The top mount still in place. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's other damage. The, the, clearly the puncture is not, not the big issue here. It's potentially further damage. Yeah, let's have a look at the strut on this side. Let's have a look around here. Come around here, Elliot. Let's check this angle out. Yeah, yeah that's all looking, all looking very second hand. So we are about 400 metres out from the stage. Thierry just checking, checking the piping there. Ah, you know, there'll be brake, the brake pipes, all sorts that he's got to check. Just cutting away, cutting away at the surrounding covering for the wheel arches. There's a lot of fluid there, a lot of liquid. Not sure what that is. It's leaking, but we'll find out. As I say, you know, th there is nothing worse than panic, and you rarely see drivers and co-drivers panicking. Very, very time-limited, but they know what they have to do, and they will work away at it. What does panic do? You make mistakes, you get things wrong, you forget to put things back on again, and you pay the cost for it. Take your time, work through the issues, work through the fixes. Neville is, a, is, is as experienced as anyone out there. He's got the cable ties out, cable ties, ratchet straps. They'll use whatever they can to try and get things back together. It's a long stage though, the next one. It's 30 kilometers, maybe not as rough as the first two stages. That may help, Thierry, that might help. More tyre apps he's asking for, more cable ties. Uh, yeah, that might help them a little bit. It's not the roughest of stages, but it's a long one. It's the longest one in the loop, just over 30 k. So whatever they do here has to have some kind of solidity. It has to give them that chance of getting through those 30 k without potentially losing that opportunity to still be in the fight here. It's early on. There is no question that Neuville is still very much in this one if if he can get this sorted, if they can come up with a fix that allows them to push on at a reasonable pace. P cars coming out from the stage, who is this? We'll keep an eye on them all. That is Adrian Formo. Now, if you remember back, this was the stage last year where Thierry retired. I think he had problems in the previous one and retired actually within this stage. So it's not been the best of stages for Thierry Neuville and Martin Vidigui. Let's have a look. Well, they're going to go back on with the tyre. Try and work this out. It's a little tricky with a car up in the air to work out the angle. Maybe the all is OK with the upright. Certainly hasn't come through the top mount. You know, it'll have been a, a really heavy impact, I'm sure of that. But that's what the struts do. They absorb that impact. It's the tyre that is potentially the weak point, and that's what gives. So... As long as all's okay with the brake cables, the brake fluid, um, the hydraulics there, as long as everything's okay then, there's every chance that Thierry will go. And this is all looking, looking reasonably optimistic. Who is that? That's Jordan Serderides. Thierry, what, what happened? How did that happen? I don't know. Puncture in the stage and just before the finish, the tyre exploded. Is there any other damage? Is the strut okay? Are the brake pipes and everything okay? Well, it's fine. Do you think you'll be okay for the 30 k's in the next one? No choice. no choice. He's got no choice. He has to push on. Absolutely right. Thierry Neuville, no choice. Has to push on. There we go. Always a good sign. Boots down. Go on, Thierry Neuville. He needs a bit of luck. He deserves a bit of luck here. So the cable ties, all they were used for was just to hold back. He cut away some of that damaged bodywork. So the cable ties were used just to hold back, take a look, just to hold back things like 
uh, you know, the, the piping and the, uh, the electrics and those kind of things, just to hold them back in place so they don't flap around and cause any more damage. The strut is absolutely fine. The hub is absolutely fine. New wheel on, they've cut away all of the damaged bodywork. The underside of the wheel arch clearly is completely gone. You saw them out with the snips. There's a bit of damage there to one of those pipes, but that looks all good as well. So, as Neville said, he has no choice. He has no choice. That's saw Tanak heading off to the next one. He was potentially reporting issues in the first one this morning, but that all looks okay now. Neville. Heading off to stage four of the rally. The longest stage of the loop. Is there any... Well, is there any damage there that maybe will hold him back? I don't think there is. I think he's changed that tyre. I think that bodywork, he's tied it all back, pinned it back, fingers crossed. There may be a weak point in that strut. If he does pick up another hit on that strut, who knows what might happen. But Neuville, back on the road, back in the rally.